Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you're viewing from. I am Emmanuel Khan. I especially welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to walk you through how to buy USDT on Binance P2P. All right, what you need to look out for, what you need to uh, watch out for, the things that you need to do so that you can easily buy usdt and use it to buy any other coins that you want or use it to make payment for any cost or project that you that requires using such coins okay before i commence kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you will always be notified when i post new content and do well to like the video too and to share it it's important you like the video so that youtube will help to uh share the video to all other users who the content will benefit as well all right without further ado let's get right into the business of the day so here i am on binance when you have your binance account verified the first thing you want to do is to hit on your wallet okay hit on your wallet then you hit on funding hit on funding after that you hit on p2p p2p okay here we are so the first coin you will see highlighted is usually usdt okay and we have two options here buy and sell the one in white is the active one the current active one if you hit on sell it will turn white so the one in white is the active one the one in uh, dark gray is the inactive one okay so for, for, for possibly want to look at how to buy not uh, maybe later in this video or in another video I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to sell so let's say you have 50,000 error or 30,000 error in your bank account now you want to you are in need of USDT to pay for a cost or to buy a coin what do you want to do you come right here set if it's not on buy make sure you tap on buy it's already on usdt okay you can just refresh so that you it will be very very it will be updated properly then the next thing to do is to come here you see this funnel here of course make sure that your the currency here is displaying ngn naira all right then you come to this funnel here click on the funnel and right here enter the amount that funnel serves as is a filter serves as a filter enter the amount you want to buy let's say i want to buy twenty-five thousand or thirty-five thousand. okay right here you need to enter the mode of payment how do you want to receive the money okay sorry how do you want to send the money because you're buying how do you want to send the money do you want to send the money to the seller through go money or through transfer wise or through through cheaper cash whichever way all right so what you do is select bank transfer you want to do bank transfer so select bank transfer you have entered the uh, the amount here in naira and the next thing to do for security purposes and for yeah for security purposes mainly i recommend you turn on this button here to enable binance show only show ad from merchant okay then you click on yes only show ad from merchant it means that binance will show you uh ads from people who are registered on binance or are accredited sellers or merchants on binance all right so you you hardly run into trouble buying from such persons okay now hit on yes and uh, as soon as that is done you can refresh still to get the latest update okay good now because we entered 25 uh, 35,000 in our filter Binance will automatically display people who are willing to sell or who have USDT that is within the range of the amount we entered which is 35k so right now you can click on anyone let's say you click on this okay first of all uh, uh, two things to look out for when you're here assuming you're not using the you didn't turn on the let's assume you didn't turn on this okay you didn't turn this on let me turn it off click on yes all right two things to look out for when you get here number one you want to look out for 
people the person you want to buy from if he has the amount you're looking at okay if, 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 if what he has to sell is within the range of you, of what you want to buy you check that and the next thing is to check the number of trades executed how many trades or, or transactions has he done executed on binance p2p that gives you credibility that gives him more credibility it gives the seller more credibility okay next is to check the percentage rating check his percentage rating okay what is he what uh, uh uh what's his rating on binance this percentage rating simply means that uh if he's low it means that the guy is either not trusted or uh has issues with releasing people's money or releasing people's coin or has poor customer service okay so it can be questionable so personally i don't buy from anybody who is less than 90. the least person i buy from it has to be 90. okay so you check out those two check out those two before you transact now look at this person he has very high credibility he has done 6161 trades and he has a 95 percentage rating can you see that can you see that so it's, such a person is is good to buy from let's click on it now and see what happens next all right so here you enter the amount you want to buy 35,000 you want to buy you want to buy 35,000 naira okay let's look for somebody else this guy is is quite high for us it's more than the range okay let's buy from this guy 1700 plus transactions uh completed 35000 okay so 35000 will give us 62 USDT all right will give us 62 USDT uh what next now okay now once you're done before you hit on buy with zero fee before you hit on buy with zero fee scroll up and read the person's the seller's terms and conditions if it doesn't favor you go look for somebody else let's see what this guy wrote as his terms i do not accept third party payments i do not i don't include anything related to bitcoin or binance okay so these are his terms and conditions so you can you can deal with him now the payment window payment window is means the time he's given to release the coins the 62 usdt to you when you pay thirty-five thousand. all right the buyer's nickname is the soft classic all right seller's payment method is bank transfer so you're going to pay this guy through bank transfer now the next thing you do is to click on pay with zero fee click on this click on it all right now the order pay the seller within 15 minutes you have 15 minutes to make payment you are the one buying so you are paying to somebody who is selling to you i hope that is clear all right now look at this look at this binance is holding the seller's crypto in the escrow accounts all right now it means that this seller as soon as you click on buy all right the seller's uh, 62 usdt goes into binance escrow account binance they serve as a third as a middleman for each transaction as a third party middleman for each transaction so when you pay and you notify that you have paid they will if the if the seller doesn't release the crypto binance will ask you to upload proof that you have paid once you upload that binance will automatically release the coins to you okay all right so on this interface you just check to cross check that all is correct this is what you want you want to you want to pay 30 30 35 thousand error at the rate of 563 per dollars 563 naira per dollars okay then the crypto you're going to get in return is 62.12 usdt okay this is the order number not really relevant to us all right now the next thing to do is to go to payment page hit on the yellow button here go to payment page okay here is where you see details about the person's bank account all right so this is his bank account number this is the bank name kuda he banks with kuda 
So this account number is for CUDA. Some might be GTB, some might be Access Bank, some might be Zenith Bank, you name it. Okay. Now the next thing to do is after you have me copy this number, all right, just tap on this, tap on, tap on this uh, square box here to copy. All right. So copy, or you see it, copy successful. Then go to your bank app go to your bank app i'm not buying anyway i'm just giving you an example go to your bank app all right and uh, once you're in your bank app make the payment once you are done making the payments take a screenshot okay just reserve it in case it's, it's needed take a screenshot then return here and click on transferred notify seller transferred notify seller okay once you hit on please do not hit on this unless you have make payment you have made payments all right it, it's it's seen as fraudulent act if you click on this without making payment and that's why i will not click on it i won't click on it all right uh transferred notify seller so once you click on it you uh, another interface will open showing you uh showing you uh where to chat with the seller okay showing you where to chat with the seller okay you know what let me now if i click on this it's a it's a it's a uh, okay no need to click on it so look at it look at it this, this is what i was looking for all right so right here is a chat box you can tap on it to chat with the seller and some of the sellers they drop their terms here as well all right i do not accept third party payment i don't i don't include anything related to crypto bitcoin or binance all right so you can now after you have paid you just tell him i have made payments kindly confirm then you send all right so you hit on send that yellow button there okay but i'm not buying now so i can't hit on that now once that is done the next thing is that the seller once he confirms receipt of your payment he's going to release the crypto okay and immediately binance will send you a notification see what the notification looks like they will send you a notification see what it looks like let me show you this right here is your history okay hold on this right here this button right here is your history this is where you can find past transactions so let me show you what the let me show you i'll hit on that now let me show you what the kind of message you're going to get after you click on after the, the seller has oh pending payment are you serious okay let me click on cancel click on cancel yes i click on cancel okay i don't want to trade anymore cancel all right so once the seller releases your crypto to you okay this is the kind of message you're going to get uh oh cancelled all right this is the kind of message they're going to get from binance so this is what will pop up order completed you successfully purchased 62 usdt or whatever amount you're buying all right then you will see details here of how much you spent and the rest and the rest and the rest then a button will be here uh written positive for feedbacks a button for feedback so you can hit on positive and leave a comment there for the seller i hope this is clear all right if it's not clear please do well to ask me any question all right uh, my number will be in the comment section in the comment section you can chat me up on whatsapp uh, not call do not call me please just chat me up on whatsapp and i'll respond to your question then i'll leave the link to our telegram channel too uh, at the, on the description so you can join our channel for more updates and more signals crypto signals to buy and educational content on cryptocurrencies once again i remain your friend your boy imani khan please do well to like my like this video share it then subscribe to my channel and hit the not notification bell so that you will always be notified when i upload new content have a wonderful day bye for now